Okay, in this video, second part of the uh, Genie screwdriver issue, um, I'm going to uh, fabricate my own part because uh, the one they wanted was like they wanted to charge three dollars for it, but four dollars or five dollars shipping, so it would have been like eight dollars for a piece of steel, spring steel that could have been more than a couple of grams. This this is the collar that was okay. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is my my uh, the the little keeper um, thing had popped, had straightened out and gotten messed up. So um, instead of buying a new one, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this small gauge copper wire around the um, the shaft where the where the the spring uh, steel thing usually goes. And um, if you don't know how this is going together, you got to watch the other video. Um, anyway, I continue to wrap this this uh, copper wire around here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blowtorch to it with some solder, and um, I'm going to uh, you know just put a nice coat of solder on the whole thing to make it sort of just a one one piece. So there you see how it's sort of tightly wrapped there. And unfortunately, I don't have the uh, camera on when I do the soldering I basically am showing you uh, I'm cleaning up here and I thought the camera was on and when it was off and vice versa so unfortunately we don't have that shot but you can see it's sort of silver there but that that's basically because um, I've got solder a nice coating of solder on there and um, I'm just gonna reassemble it now and uh, and turn it on and just sort of see that it spins okay and everything um, Unfortunately, uh, didn't have a camera at the right time. Um, yeah, so the, I did buy a um, a carriage on the internet uh, uh, off of, um, uh, off of uh, Amazon actually for eight dollars and forty four cents, which is a pretty good deal. Five bucks shipping, so it cost me thirteen fifty or something like that. Um, Although when I'm shooting this video, I haven't I hadn't received that yet. So here I'm going to try to get it going, just to hear it spin and go down there and take a look at it. Uh, not like I expect anything to happen. It was you know nice and nice and soldered on there. So then I uh, then I have to get the carriage. So I guess uh, a couple days later. I get this this carriage in the mail, and um, and uh, cost me thirteen fifty or whatever, and uh, I just uh, put a little bit of um, grease on it and uh, slide it on there. Oh yeah, I put some grease on the uh, on the screw drive too. And then I uh, give it a quick test here. It doesn't sound too good when it goes over that those brakes. It, it's, it actually sounds worse going over the brakes, um, going over that the the, uh, the brake that I didn't mess with. Um, so I, I don't know if my my collar is better than the uh, than the original one they supplied. Here I am just tight putting the rope on and uh, hanging the uh, the unit so I got that end secured and then I'm going to secure the other end and give it a shot so here I'm lifting it up on the um, wires there's a set of safety wires and then there's a set of control wires I got on there putting the light cover back on highly exciting stuff here I think I probably was trying to cut this out too oh well Okay, so here's the test, I guess. So 
sorry for the camera work here. Give me a shot though. Okay, so without the door on there, it uh, works okay. Here I'm connecting the door back up. There's a pin that goes through there and then a cotter pin on the other side. Lock it in place again. And give it a shot for real here. So, it's working again. I don't know how long. I certainly would never buy another one of these three-piece rail or three-piece uh, yeah, rail slash screw systems. It's just something as just asking for trouble. So I don't know how long this is going to last, but at least it's working again. So there you have it.